Hello, I am Jesus Carrera from Barcelona. I work in Barcelona. And what I want to discuss with you now is the concept of head. And you all know Bernoulli's head, which is basically the energy per unit weight, so it accounts for the potential energy. It would be mgc, but if I divide by per unit weight by mg, I get only c. The pressure energy, which is p divided by rho g. Uh, Bernoulli also accounted for the kinetic energy, which in groundwater we can neglect because this term is so small. Now, the meaning of this, I, I can accept that, but really what Bernoulli did to, to derive this concept was uh, which way water will move if I have different elevation and pressures. And you can think of it as say, well, if I have different elevation and pressures, uh, well, I can say, let's go to the same elevation, and if I have here P1 and I have here P2 and the density of water is rho, the pressure here, P prime 2, would be uh, this difference. Also, if this is C1 and this is C2, it would be, uh, well, the pressure in 2 minus uh, rho G times C1 minus C2. So, yeah, if I divide, uh, I say, well, if P prime 2 is equal to P1, then water will not move. And basically, this tells me, leads me to this, um, to this equation, eh? because basically this is telling me that P2 divided by rho G plus Z2 is equal to uh, P1 divided by rho G plus Z1. Eh? So, if these two things are equal, water does not move. Now, my question and the point I want to raise now is what and this works even if rho is not constant. Eh? If rho is a function of pressure, this is still works. I mean, I can use this type of definition and, and things will work. Now, the problem is if rho, if the density also depends on concentration, uh, when you add salt to water, the density increases, or temperature. If you heat up water, the density drops. Uh, and the point I want to raise is that in that case, this is not sufficient to tell me which, water, which way water will move. Because in that case, imagine I have here rho 1 and here I have rho 2. In that case, well, mm, knowing all these things, which way will water move? This way or that way? And it is not easy because it depends. Eh? Now imagine that, yes, the temperature and the concentration are varying everywhere. And imagine that I have here cold water, which is dense. So I have one high density because I have yeah, cold water or uh, saline water. And here I have low density, either warm water or light, low concentration, low density. And they say, I do the same calculation, but here I would have to have high density. Well, if I do the same calculation, but this way, the calculation I, I would have to take here the low density, eh? so p prime 2 or p second, because this is from a different path, would be p2 minus rho low g c1 minus c2, etc. No? Same thing. Rho low, rho high. So what may happen? That P prime 2, oh, since I am subtracting a high number, P prime, P prime 2, oh, the pressure here, would be smaller than P1, while here, uh, because density is low, P prime 2 would be larger than P1. So what is the, what is the point now? If I come this way, water will move this way from p2 I mean from point 2 to point 1 if i go this way water will move like this from p1 to p2 so the issue is when density depends on concentration and temperature it is not sufficient to work with head head is not a potential field to describe water flow I need to work with pressure and with density 
separately. And, um, and then Darcy's law is no longer Q equal K grad H, but I have to rewrite it as Q equal, but the old way, yeah? Q rho G divided by mu grad of P plus rho G grad of, C, of Z. And I have these two driving forces, one which obeys the density term, another one that observes, that obeys the pressure term. And in essence, the thing, the thing is that if I wanted to keep this, the density I would have to put here is the mean density along the path. Huh? Uh, what controls whether water will flow this way is this density, huh? the density along this path. And what controls that water will move this way is the fact that I have low density here, which is low density. So the point is that if I wanted to work with this, I would need to use the mean density along the flow path, which of course is a non-local variable. Therefore, when density depends on C and T, no single head. It depends on which way you go. Thank you.